Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. All right, Victor E. Frankel. Frankel. Frankel, yes, Victor E. Frankel, man's search for meaning. More thoughts of my camping trip. Um, on the last episode, I was going to say how Victor Frankel perhaps inspired me, or I got to draw a direct correlation between service and um, how Victor Frankel thinks what drives man is meaning having meaning in your life. And Victor breaks it down into three main ways. It's not necessarily what I'm going to do on this episode because I'm not prepared. Gosh, you'd hope I would be, but (laughs) there's lots of winging it these days. Um, It seems that there's always some winging it going on. Let it rip. Let it rip. Take the messy action. Anybody out there wanting to create a podcast, a blog, a YouTube channel, who wants to start, you know, getting their thoughts, ideas, their message out there, or maybe they just want to entertain, who knows what the motive is, but they want to use a blog, a YouTube channel, um, a podcast as a mechanism for this or this, the source or to do that, take the messy action. Just take the messy action. That's what I'm going to tell you (laughs) because you probably, well, I'm guessing you don't have an audience yet, so no one's going to be there to judge you. And if you do have an audience, well, they know who you are anyway. So no big deal. Take the messy action is which what I seem to be gifted with doing, taking the messy action on my podcast. So Victor Frankel, um, you know, one of the things he talks about is, is, is meaning how having a purpose in your life and it does not have to be big and it doesn't have to be, it's having meaning in the moment. That's what it is. It's having meaning in the moment. And he talks a lot about it in regards to the concentration camp experience and how people can derive meaning in life even though they're headed towards death rapidly or they're seeing it or 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 all of this and and i am i'm I'm hesitant to talk about it because it's so extreme (laughs) and i'm a white boy from wyoming who now lives in encinitas california making podcast episodes so Um, one thing I had been saying to a few friends is, you know, as we're trying to detach from controlling people, places, and things, and trying to learn how to find joy or meaning in, in the moment and seed control of, of how we think people are supposed to act, feel, think what they're supposed to do you know, as we're scaling God up bigger and bigger. And then, you know, inevitably someone brings these extreme circumstances of murderers and rapists and, you know, military leaders or, you know, leaders who do lots of damage, right? And I had this thought of like, well, can we have our God so big? And trust so much that there is something greater than this moment of our human existence that if we were to have an executioner, we could smile lovingly to that executioner as they were opening the door to, you know, the 
the, the hangman's noose for us. And I'm doing t- the best I can to talk about that idea, to be willing to talk about that idea, to conceptualize that idea, given my, given my circumstances. Um, and so fast forward, you know, to reading Victor Frankl's book. And in essence, he's talking about love and finding meaning in the moment as you're, you know, suffering extremely and perhaps dying um, or being put to death. Um, I'm going to still work on how to talk about that. I think there there are interesting ideas. One idea that he floats is um, is like if you put even a small amount of gas in an enclosed space, the gas evenly distributes through that space perfectly. And he correlates that to that to suffering he's like so it doesn't matter how much suffering you have in a human consciousness if it's a little it's going to fill up the space same as gas fills up the void and so he's like hey his thesis is suffering is suffering which is pretty crazy right because this dude went through four three years in four concentration camps um, anyway, I, I, my thank you for listening to that. I'm going to try to continue to talk about the ideas that were sussed out um, by Viktor Frankl in his book and within me. And one thing was is finding meaning. One way to find meaning is service. How can you serve in the moment? And uh, I love that because I'm all about service. I've talked about it on other episodes. It's a big part of, you know, recovery of the recovery community is carrying the message. How can you be of service? And it's obviously within churches and religions and, and there's plenty of nonprofits out there. And so it's, it's, this isn't a new idea by any means on a big scale as well as on a small scale, being nice, forgiving, smiling, opening the door for somebody. Like it can be the tiniest things, a gracious nod, letting somebody in within traffic, like letting somebody in without throwing a fit, flipping them off. You know, if somebody cuts you off, graciously be cut off, smile, wave. Thank you. <laughs> um. So it's, it's about nine o'clock at night on the camping trip and it's dark and there is a heavy, there's this part of a climb to get to the next lake, which I could remember what it is, but it was up a heavy, it was heavy. Like you almost wanted to have ropes, (laughs) but you know, people were doing it with backpacks and things, but a couple of guys, we look up. And all of a sudden we see headlamps at nine o'clock at night, scaling down this chute to get back to crater to um, iceberg Lake. And um, it was hard enough for people to do that part of the hike in daylight, let alone at night. So it was, it was honestly better than watching Netflix because it's a very far away, but you can see the two headlight beams and, uh, (laughs) <laughs> very dramatic <laughs> very dramatic they make it down it takes them half an hour 45 minutes whatever it is and um they walk by us because the trail goes by our campsite and we're talking to him for a second and i say hey i'm inspired all of a sudden hey do you guys need a campsite because they're clearly tired by now it's 10 o'clock at night and you can't see anything to find a campsite and um I happened to know where a couple of campsites were and they were so relieved and so excited and so happy. And, um, and I just thought of Victor Frankel and being of service and, 
and how in that moment after just finishing his book, I got to ask those guys if I could help them with a campsite. And we showed them this a ridiculous campsite that we found and they were just so happy. And, you know, I was gratified in the moment, gratified in that I had meaning. And um, it was just a really cool experience and to be in nature, just feeling the whole vibe of it all, the flow of it all. And, uh, and <laughs> yes, I'm doing a quick time check. Um, that's what I've got for you. The serendipitous events that uh, led to me finishing the whole book. And then, yeah, I would encourage anybody to read Man's Search for Meaning. Great, great book. Just a great, great book. And uh, I'll talk more about it. Love to all. Again, I'm going to say get your tails out there and go camping. Get out in nature. Detach for two or three days if you can. But I guess you can do silent retreats, all sorts of things. Um, many people are doing that. I'm just going to encourage you to do it again if you have done it. And absolutely get out there if you haven't. All right, I'm done. Peace out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.